Hello guys and welcome back to another KSP2 video and in this video we will going to the closest planet of the Kerbola system. We will be exploring Moho in this video. Unfortunately some weird um, kraken glitches and some weird things happened which kind of changed the mission a little bit but I'm not gonna spoil them right now. So if you want to see them, then why don't you leave a little like and subscribe and stay tuned till the end of the video to find out all of the weird Kraken glitches. But let's start everything off with the lander and I've already built everything. It's a pretty simple lander, nothing too complex, just a simple lander. Now we're moving on to, um, well, the command pod right here and then the interplanetary main stage basically the an interplanetary transfer stage we're gonna have some solar panels rtgs as well just in case and most importantly a giant yeah giant spherical hydrogen tank and the swerve engine of course because the swerve engine is great so we are also gonna strut everything because we do not want wobbly world we do not want wobbly rockets, wobbly rockets suck. Unfortunately wobbly rockets are still in the game, even after patch 4 we still have wobbly rockets which is unfortunate. So let's now move on from wobbly rockets. So what's next? Well next we have the second stage, first of all a fairing and then we're gonna have the second stage which will get us to orbit. So let's build that I guess. Uh, I had some difficulties with the fairing because I don't know. Like the fairing system keeps changing and it's so annoying. Like the old fairing system was just fine. It worked and it was fine. But they changed it and now it's kind of annoying. So here we go. We add, we will, well, well we've just added a rhino engine for the second stage. And let's now add the main first stage with I haven't added them yet. Yeah, there we go. Three Mastodon engines. Mastodon engines? I keep calling these engines the Mastodon engines. Three Mammoth engines. Because in KSP1, the Mastodon engine was very similar to this engine. So I kept calling the Mastodon engine. No, I kept calling the Mammoth engine the Mastodon engine. Because the Mammoth engine in KSP1 was like four vector engines, but now it's just one big engine yeah so let's now move on to the takeoff with the countdown of course so let's get ready and and I'm just waiting there we go we took off and maybe maybe our engines are a little bit too powerful but whatever so let's now move on as that and as you can see the this rocket is extremely wobbly like you can never see it on the nav pool. like I was fighting with the controls. Even with those giant fins at the bottom, I was still fighting with the controls. Like, it was so wobbly. This rocket was probably one of the wobbliest I've ever built. Wobbly, wobbliest isn't really a word, but it's now a word. So whatever. And you, as you can see, like, it's just wobbling all the time. It's so annoying. Like, ugh. And... For some reason, suddenly we just made a flip. Yeah. So, yeah, in the end, I just had to deploy that stage because it kept flipping. But there we go. We are now using the second stage, which is great. We finally got rid of this giant stage. And we're gonna go to orbit, I guess. So, let's just wait a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pre I'm imitating the engine sounds or maybe it's like this <laughs> how odd how stupid mode is importantly but yeah next we're gonna add this right here we're gonna make our circularization maneuver node and deploy the fairings of course because we need to do that and that should be it I think we're also gonna deploy the solar panels because of course 
the solar panels kind of glitched so I had to reload a quick save yeah well whatever and let's now do our circularization burn and we are finally in a circular curve in orbit and let's deploy the second stage to reveal our swerve engine so I, I moved to the tracking station so we could well now we're back to the ship but I um, warped to a moho transfer window now if you want to know what a moho transfer window because I actually don't know what it is as you can see I'm making my main my second maneuver node towards moho let me search it up KSP mo mo moho trap I'll just there we go transfer um let's go to Olex biz because it's probably the website I use all the time so come in to moho calculate do the math minus 255 degrees so if you were to just draw a line between Kerbin, the Sun and Moho, the angle that line would be is minus 250 um, degrees. So yeah, well you saw how it looked, try to imitate that. So we're now doing our interplanetary burn, I forgot what it was, our transfer burn. And there we go, we are getting close to Moho. Now, one thing that makes getting to Moho difficult is the fact that it's on a very, 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 very inclined orbit. Like, Moho has a lot of tilt, which means that you're gonna need to make a huge correction burn to correct your inclination. Because Moho is, in is so inclined, like, you can literally see it, like, it's so inclined. And my interplanetary correction burn is literally like a thousand meters per second. So yeah, that's what make Mo makes Moho difficult. Is the fact that you need so much delta V to get to Moho. Like, the amount of fuel you need to get to Moho is absolutely insane. You need a lot of fuel to get a Moho encounter already. You need like 3,000 meters per second. But you also need a lot of fuel to slow down at Moho. You need another 3,000 meters per second to slow down at Moho. And then to get back to Kerbin, you're probably going to need another 2,000 meters per second just to get back to Kerbin. Though luckily, um, if you've got a heat shield, but, well, you can just, well, there's no need to slow down at Kerbin is what I'm trying to say. And also, you can see, my there was a little bit of a weird glitch with the swerve engine, because the swerve engine kept causing the ship to oscillate and just like gyrate a little bit just go it kept oscillating now the fix to that was pretty simple it was just turning off the gimbal so maybe it was a gimbal of the swerve engine that caused the insane amount of oscillating but yeah so yeah I w as i was saying the gimbal caused oscillating I just, I just paused the commentary because I had to go do something, but there we go, we're back in the commentary. And there we go, we got a really good moho encounter. I'm just tweaking this encounter to make it the best it can be. And there we go, that's it I guess. So, let's now move to that burn and do a little bit of burning. So, yeah. We're almost there. Uh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Almost there, but whatever. I don't know what to say anymore. So, yeah. We're almost at Moho. Which is great, of course. It's, nice. it's great to be at Moho already. It's good to be at Moho, most importantly. And... We fine tweaked our encounter because actually I want to get a polar orbit. This is because we're gonna try, we're gonna attempt to go to the molehole. Now, unfortunately, um, things didn't go as expected, but you'll you'll see. But yeah, I'm getting a polar orbit like that. We can of course go check out the molehole, which is of course at the north pole of Moho. It is a giant hole. Yeah. And as you can see, this burn, this circularization burn at Moho is 
humongous. It is three thousand, maybe not three thousand, like two thousand. I I can't see because the screen is really blurry. But two thousand something meters per second, which is absolutely insane. <laughs> I had to make this really grandiose, but whatever. And as you can see, the ship is still oscillating. But when I turned off the gil when I turned off the gimbal, I, I fixed it. So that's nice. So let's get a moho orbit, I guess. Let's just wait, wait. I couldn't actually use any time warp for this burn, so it's an extremely long burn. Or I sped this up four times. And it's still taking like a really long time, but you'll see. The actual, yeah, it took me like a long time. I just, I was just watching a video in the meantime because that's how long it took me. But yeah, we almost, we've almost got us an orbit, not a circular orbit yet, but an elliptical orbit. And there we go, an orbit, I guess. And now I'm just trying to tweak the orbit so I can get something slightly more polar. And there we go. And let's burn again. If I can. And let's do the burn, I guess. Burn, burn, baby burn. There we go, our ship. I've got a slightly more perfectly inclined burn. And let's now... Let's now get a circular orbit so I've plotted the maneuver node and that's it I guess so what should I talk about next well the next thing that's gonna happen is all the bugs I guess next we're gonna have all the cracking glitches and it's gonna be fun all of you all of you will have so much fun watching that bit is that the moho Oh my, if I just found the mohole in this video, I would be so annoyed. Because I'm not going to spoil it yet. No, it's not the mohole. Okay, I was just hallucinations. But yeah. So let's now just wait. So I'm doing a, an orbit of moho just to see everything. See how it's like. And there we go, finding in that moho orbit. Just made a quick save, of course, because everybody needs to save the game. And let's now move on from this. And, oh, I, yeah, you probably saw that. I, something happened. But it, the game didn't crash. Trust me, it didn't crash. It was just me logging out of the game. So we've deployed our lander, and that's when all the drama will start happening. So I'm making a deceleration burn right there, like trying to get a landing burn so that we can land towards the mohole, because I believe the mohole is at this like fuzzy bit, yeah I would call it fuzzy, but unfortunately weird things happen, I, I'll i just say it right now, because I'm just gonna say it, because Unfortunately, I didn't find the mohole. I spent like a good hour or so trying to find it. Like, I did cheat things. I tried to cheat it by using infinite fuel and just like flying around the planet and just couldn't find it. I was watching several YouTube videos to find it and I just... I tried everything and I just could not find it. So, I'm sorry if you guys aren't happy that I didn't find it. But... I'm not clickbaiting you guys, and also as you can see, the orbital decay glitch hap happened. As you can see, my this my mo the mothership is on a well on a crashing trajectory, even though I, though I didn't even turn on the engines. But whatever. So yeah, and I I just couldn't find, so I just kept reloading quick saves. I kept getting glitches, so I just at the end just gave up and just landed anywhere. As you can say I can't find it, so I reloaded a quick save. It was so annoying. And oh, I reloaded a quick save, but something weird happened. Well, I paused the game, but... Yeah, my, my orbital line just disappeared. 
What did it? Actually, I don't remember anymore. I reloaded the wrong quick save, and as you can see, something weird happened. I reloaded that quick save just to see, and my orbital line just disappeared. And oh, you can see the big. No, it's not a cursor. The cursor wasn't on the screen. Yeah, you can see like the the ship just glitched. And then I decided a little bit later. This is another take of me. Real the quick save. I I can't see anything. I changed camera modes. I I tried to look at things and burn and you're gonna see something and poof. The game crashed. Like the game literally crashed without any kind of error message. I just poof. And I didn't know what happened. And after that, I just gave up and decided to listen to some Taylor Swift. The funny thing is, I decided to listen to Don't Blame Me. And you know what? The song makes sense. Because I, I was like, don't blame me. It's not my fault the game crashed. Like, come on. You gotta understand. Like, there was no error message. So, yeah. I listened to some Taylor Swift. And then proceeded to have an existential crisis. And I gave up because it was, like, really late at night. So, the next day, I tried again. I spent a good hour trying to find the mohol and in the end I gave up yeah I gave up trying to find the mohol so I just decided to land anywhere I can even if it's at the north pole if I wasn't going to the mohol then I would have landed at the equator but whatever or some kind of cool crater but it's too late I'm too lazy for this poop I, I can't swear in these videos so yeah, just gave up, didn't know what to do, gave up, went home, and just decided to land wherever I can. So yeah, in the end I probably landed at the worst spot because I ended up landing on a really steep slope, so that was annoying. But there we go, we're getting closer to the surface. And this video is getting long, this video is 27 minutes, we've, we've still got 10 minutes left. So, yeah, we are landing on Moho. Not, not much to say. I guess cool things I've got to say is that the new KSP, the, the next KSP2 major update, which will of course be the science update, will probably be coming soon. I actually don't know, but they said we're pre The dev said that we are preparing for the science update, so it's probably gonna be soon. And there we are, as you can see, I ended up landing on a a, a giant slope which is like a horrible place to land so in the end I just decided to move and <laughs> it was kind of funny because like I the, the ship started rolling and then I decided to try to salvage things and I kind of made things worse and yeah <laughs> it was kind of funny like just seeing me try like just like Ugh, can I do it? I tried deploying and yeah If I I, I literally cut that bit because what happened is I crashed the ship and I had to reload a quick save But there we go. We finally landed on something slightly more level. It's not it's not it's still on a slope But the slope is not as deep. It's slightly more of a shallow slope So it's better And there we go. And unfortunately, I haven't said yet We've only got Valentina, because I accidentally f brought only two Kerbals instead of three. So in the end, I've only got Valentina and Tim C. Kerman. So in the end, Tim C. is in the mothership, and Valentina decided to come land. And yeah. That that was sad, but whatever. And the, the screenshot I took, this will of course be the thumbnail, but it's quite, it's quite bright, because... Look at the sun. The sun, I meant Kerbal. Kerbal in KSP2 is so bright. Like, okay, it's fine. Like, the the sun is naturally bright, but maybe this is excessively bright. Because, like, maybe you can tone down the brightness of Kerbal. Or well, at least have a setting to, like, tone down the brightness of Kerbal. Because it is insanely bright right now. But there we go. So now we've left the surface of Moho. We're gonna go join the mother ship. Mother. Mother ship. And yeah. So it's gonna take a little bit of a while. 
And yeah, we're approaching the end of this video. We've still got seven minutes. A, a minutes, I mean. So there we go. I'm trying to reach the mothership. And then we're doing our prograde burn and prograde maneuver node to try to get a, a, a better orbit. Let me drink some of my water. Actually, it's my iced tea. You might be able to hear, like, let's do an ASMR. Because I put it in, like, a nice bottle, so I'll listen. <sighs> you heard nothing. Let me try again. <sighs> you, you guys heard nothing, but it's fine. It's so loud. Closing this bottle is so loud. It's a glass water bottle. So, there we go. We're getting close. I'm trying to get a nice close intersect and... Intersect? Not intersect, so that's different. So, I got I got pretty close. So, yeah, after this... The video is kind of getting boring. Like, there's not much to talk about now, so... I really don't know what to talk about anymore. Ukrainian children need your... Be a lifesaver. Donate today. Huh. I, I just found this this ad, but whatever. So yeah, I'm trying to tweak my intersect. I'm trying to get a nice intersect with the mothership, and that will be nice. What do I talk about now anymore? I'll. I, I think I might need to talk about I don't I actually don't know what to talk about anymore um what should I talk about now I, I don't know I don't know actually I, I really don't know but we're getting close to the mothership we're gonna dock what could I talk about oops um, I need to say something, is that I will be in, um, um, starting from the 30th of September till the 14th of October, so two weeks, there will be fewer videos, or maybe even, like, a couple of weeks, no videos, because I'm leaving again, I'm having a nice break going on holiday, so there will definitely be much, far fewer videos. There will definitely still be videos, it's just a lot fewer, so I hope you can accept that. If you can't, then I don't know what to say. And there we go, we finally docked ourselves. So, the video is coming to an end. How much time do you have left? Probably like, um, four minutes left. So yeah, we've just... Well, separated the lander from us. The lander is gone. The lander poofed out of existence. Poofed. It's gone. You guys will never ever see it again. This is. You guys will still see it again. But there we go. I'm tweaking my burn. Tweaking everything. This video is gonna be so boring. The end of this video is really boring now. I had to speed thing. I sped things up more than the rest of the video. I sped things up five times instead of four because I, I don't. I think it's boring. The end. I'm just getting back to Kerbin. I got some a couple glitches here and there, but not too many. Let's just wait. It, it gets really boring. I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I'll wait. There's still three minutes left. Three minutes left, trust me, it's fine. So, yeah, I'm warping towards the the um, inclination burn. There we go. Ooh, and yeah, that was that glitch again. Because for some reason, when I time warp, the swerve engine, look, it literally offset, it was offset by so much. So I had to reload a quick save. So, oops. But now it worked, so that's fine. And... Yeah, things messed up. I had to... Something messed up and... There we go. The And now I'm just trying to tweak things. I'm trying to get a, an encounter with Kerbin. 
So my technique is to go to Apoapsis and do a giant prograde burn, but it didn't really work this time. So I decided to use another technique, which is basically to just skip orbits. So I did a bunch of orbits until I got some close encounters. And there we go. I, I, I did that off camera, I think. Oh, actually, no. But you can see it right now. And I saw, mm, they're getting closer. I'm just waiting. And there we go. They're, they're pretty close. And in the end, it took only like 300 meters per second to get a, a Kerbin encounter. And I'm just tweaking everything. And it's pretty good. We've got two minutes left. It, the, the vi Yeah, we got a good Kerbin encounter. This video is really boring now. Click off. No, no, no. Please do not click off. Please. Please. I beg you. Do not do not click off if you do click off i will murder you actually no, no, no it's illegal to murder people also i think i might get demonetized for saying that word but whatever who cares anymore um third limiter down to get a much more precise thing trying to get a close cabin encounter and oh my god one more minute left till the end of this video is it gonna be how is the video gonna end which well, you're gonna find out I guess we're getting very close to cabin we're getting we're getting very very close to cabin actually um how close are we to cabin oh there we go close to cabin and um, I time warped a little bit too much right there but there we go we deployed our command pod and actually I've just realized we're going extremely fast right now but yeah and we're finally back home. It's taking a little bit of time, but whatever. Finally back home, I guess. How lovely. Finally back home. And we will touch down. There we go. Touch down in the forest near the mountains. And yeah, I guess this ends this mission to Moho. On the right hand side is a playlist, on the left hand side is a video for you, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and goodbye!